Imagine a chatbot that can read any PDF document and instantly answer your questions about it. You won't have to dig through thousands or hundreds of pages. Just open Telegram and the bot will find the answer for you. What's even better, you can create this bot yourself in just 15 minutes. That's exactly what we'll do today. Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process of creating a bot. First, we'll generate the Python code using Claude's AI Assistant. Then, we'll create a GitHub repository and set up all the required features. The best part is, we'll use only free services. So you won't have to pay a dime. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. So let's dive in and explore step-by-step -step guide of developing your own chatbot. Step-by-step -step guide. Today, we're going to build a chatbot for the widely used Telegram Messenger. We'll be working with some popular programming tools, specifically the Python programming language. Our assistant in this project is Claude 3.5 Sonnet, a powerful large language model that will guide us in writing high-quality code for the Telegram bot and explaining each step. In just a few minutes, we will launch and test it together. So, let's dive in. Let's ask Claude 3.5 Sonnet to create a chatbot in Python. This bot should have its own knowledge base sourced from a downloadable PDF file and be able to answer questions based on the information contained within that file. Perhaps we'll deploy the bot on a free server. So, I'll ask Claude to create a file structure that will enable the deployment to free hosting services. I'll also ask it to use free resources like Hugging Face, which will allow us to connect large language models so that the bot can accurately answer the questions based on our PDF database. Let's ask it to generate this code. Claude is creating a file structure and suggesting some actions for us to take. Let's go ahead and follow this plan. We can see that the code itself includes recommendations for the files we should have. So let's proceed with the execution. For this project, I recommend using GitHub. Let's create a new repository called Telegram QA Bot with PDF Knowledge Base. We should make it private to securely store Telegram keys, hugging face keys, and tokens. We'll store all this data in the GitHub repository. Now let's go ahead and create it. Here is its name. To work with the files in this repository, we can both upload and create them directly here. Alternatively, you can use a program called PyCharm to connect to this repository. This allows you to create files on your computer and then upload them using Git. Let's head over to Claude and check its instructions. It suggests creating a file called requirements.txt. Let's do it. Next, we need to paste the following dependencies to the file. The Python Telegram bot library. PyPDF2 library for PDF processing sentence transformers for handling sentences, and Langchain along with python.env as supporting libraries for our bot. We have a complete main.py code ready to go. Let's paste it. PyCharm has already created this file for us. Next, we need to create a PDF processor to handle PDF files.
we'll create this PDF processor.py file. Add it to Git and copy the code into it. We also need a QIEngine.py file, which will act as the question handler for the bot. We'll paste the code into it as well. Next, Cloud suggests creating a .in file, which is an environment file. We don't need to add it to Git, so I clicked Cancel in the pop-up window. In the .nv file, we'll store the Telegram token that we will receive shortly from Telegram. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! Now let's head over to the Messenger. I am going to create a new bot. By clicking the Start button, you'll get the clear instructions. We'll create the bot using the New Bot command. Let's name our bot Daniel Assist Bot. Make sure the name ends with bot. We've created it and received the bot's token. Now we need to copy and paste it into the .env file I mentioned earlier. Alright guys, all the files that Claude suggested creating are fully configured. The next step is to install the requirements. We'll be using the pip3 package installer for this. To proceed, let's open the terminal in PyCharm. As we can see, all the necessary requirements are being unpacked and installed. Now we need to launch the bot. To do this, I'll select the main.py tab and click the Run button. Once we do that, we can see that our application is working. Next, open Telegram. Go to the bot we created and click Start. You'll see the message. Hi, I am your PDF QA bot. Please upload the PDF file to start. So, let's upload the PDF knowledge base we want to train it with. Great! It responds. The PDF processed successfully. And you can now ask questions about its content. This means that the file has been processed and we've achieved the exact result that Claude 3.5 Sonnet described earlier. Now let's ask the bot some questions. For instance, we can ask which company it represents. The bot provides an accurate answer based on the details in the sample file. We can see that it has been trained with the database and can respond to related questions. I'm asking another question. And the answer fully corresponds with what is written in the PDF file. We can ask this bot any questions related to the company. And here we see all its answers. 
This means we can use the bot to meet our needs. By uploading a PDF file with information about the company, we can train it to answer questions based on any document. Thanks to Claude 3.5 Sonnet, we've created a fully functional chatbot in just a few minutes. Final thoughts. Alright guys, let's finish up with a quick summary. In this video we created a chatbot that can extract info from a PDF and answer questions in real time, using tools like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GitHub and Hugging Face. This bot is perfect for anyone needing quick answers from lengthy documents, entrepreneurs, students or teams managing loads of information. It's simple, flexible and easy to customize for tasks like answering FAQs, sharing company details or assisting your team instantly. How do you think you could use chatbots like this in your own business? I would love to hear your thoughts on the practical applications of these tools. If you are excited to try it out, or if you have already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, until next time.